not sure what it says about my ego that I moved to a small town and now I love dressing up even more than I did before because I like feeling like the main character. I guess it's not necessarily that I get external validation from getting weird looks. If I really could pick, I probably would fly under the radar, but I've come to the realization that no matter what, as a young woman, you're going to get attention, so might as well have some fun with it. If that means dressing like an edgy Adam Sandler, do it. Have your fun. I just ate some gummies and they are starting to kick in, so it's time that I embark on my walk before I am in the depths of hell <laughs> before it's too late. You guys also probably haven't seen my new hair unless you have watched my live streams, hello. I went to Sally's, I did it the old school way, the damaging way. <laughs> I didn't use box dye, I did use like developer and stuff. My hair doesn't seem too damaged. It's looking pretty good, what do you guys think? Any professionals in my comments? So I love walking around town. It's kind of like it's frozen in time and I feel like a lot of people who are from older, smaller towns might be like, Okay, bitch, this is so trivial. Like, I can't believe you're amused by this, but since I'm from a city, I love the feeling of being in a town that is just slowed down. And there's a lot of older people, and there's a lot of history, and there's so many stories, and it's just fascinating to me. There's so many old, like, curio shops. I don't know if that's the word. That just threw me back to Webkin's, the curio shop. I just know there's a place where he's like, if you want to come in, you can get a rare gem. <laughs> You guys know what the fuck I'm talking about, okay. Anyway, it's 4 p.m. I don't want to lose the light, so we're gonna go, but we're just gonna have a little adventure together today. Yeah, I don't fucking know. It's beautiful. I know I'm not the only one who does this, but I romanticize loneliness, and it's almost the same way that I romanticize winter and fall. I feel like those seasons kind of go along with the lonely aesthetic, but just those few months of the year where it's very solemn, and there's a similar feeling with the early, early morning. I just enjoy the loneliness. I enjoy the quietness. I feel like if I get into the right mindset, it doesn't feel sad to me. It feels peaceful. It feels almost otherworldly, like I'm not on earth. Yes, the gummies might be hitting, but that's how I feel about it. And you know the sun's setting fast And just like they say, nothing good ever lasts Go on now and kiss it goodbye But hold on to your lover Cause your heart's bound to die Go on now and say goodbye To our town, to our town Can't you see the sun setting down? So, I'm at Subway. Ugh, I'm starting to feel slimy. That happens sometimes when I get caught in mouth. I don't know if that makes sense. It's kind of disgusting. Right in there, a really cool old bowling alley. It looks like it is completely stuck in time. To me, it reminds me of a liminal space. It's literally the back rooms. It could also be that that's a generational thing. And it's just because I'm not used to seeing this era. A lot of places like this have been remodeled in the city, but not here, not here. They don't got the budget. Up the street beside the red neon line. That's where I met my baby on one hot summer night. He was the tender and the order to bear. It's been 40 years and I'm still sitting here. But you know the sun's setting fast. And just let it say nothing could ever last. Go on now and kiss it goodbye. I'm in this little arcade area. There's like barely any games, but there's something so odd about it because all of them are old. And then one is out of order. And the vibe is just weird, but I like it. All right, so these like preteen girls came up to me and at first it was just one. And then there was like 12 and they were all like, I love your outfit, you're so cute. And I was like, oh my God. I felt nervous. It made my day because you know, if a kid compliments you, I swear it's genuine. Especially because people that age can be brutal. But I was like nervous. I was like, oh shit, I am not used to this. It threw me back to middle school. So like, I guess you never outgrow that. Whew. Here's what I love about it here. Random street. And I see there's like a whole showcase. Thank you. 
You know, I might have ordered them online like two years back. They're from like Trip NYC. Oh, thank you. They are cool. Thank you. Wow, this is way cool. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and your boots! I did. Did you see your boots? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I feel oh, that oh, I was like went a crazy. <laughs> oh, <I laughs> Can't <thought>. imagine. <laughs> Have a good one. All right, guys. So what's so cool is that I turn. I didn't expect this, but it says Earth's treasures, and then it's rocks, minerals, beads, and there's this whole thing set up. Okay. Well, I asked if I could film in there and I can't, so that's too bad. I thought it was kind of cool. I was maybe gonna get something, but then I was just like, felt a little awkward. <laughs> felt a little awkward because she was kind of like following me everywhere I went. I'm already, you know, kind of high right now, so it wasn't the vibe, but whatever. It is what it is. The one thing is, I'm always gonna respect. Obviously, it's not my establishment. If I can't film, I can't film. But I don't get it. Like, it's good press, right? I don't know. It's not like me filming your gems is the same as me stealing your gems. Anyone? Okay. I don't know. I think she was bitter. Because we just trying to have fun over here. Maybe I'm bitter. <laughs> Go on now and say goodbye to our town. To our now I am dressed rather outrageously. So I'm not surprised, but <laughs> I just walked past the family and each one of them was looking at me like I'm not a zoo animal. They were like, bitch, what? I mean, I like the pants. New day, new me. Another day, another sleigh. Hello, it is a new day. That's kind of obvious. I just made that pretty clear. I'm trying on some clothes that I thrifted that I haven't tried on yet. I did wash them weeks ago, but these shorts, they had a lot of promise. They are tight. How you doing, Fitz? How you doing? Not only TMI are these shorts giving me a little camel toe action, which you will not be so lucky as to see. Well, that would not be lucky, to be honest. But there's a select crowd that would be enthralled. Why am I pacing? Look at the baby. He wants to come outside so bad. I originally was planning to go explore a bit more in town. I planned on walking to town. I definitely don't want to be on my way back and it gets dark and I get abducted or attacked by a bear. I don't know. I know they're docile, but I'm not taking a chance. <laughs> I feel like this overhead light is ruining the vibe. Now it's just kind of dark, but I like the lighting better. I'm very particular with lighting. I don't like anything harsh, anything fluorescent. I mean, who does? But it particularly bothers me to the point where Thomas and I used to clash about it sometimes. There was one part of our old condo where the lighting was super harsh. We just never bothered to change the bulbs out and I would be like, turn it off, turn that shit off or replace it because I don't want to see it. And he'd be like, bitch, I'm blind. I can't see. I'm turning on the goddamn light. And I'd be like, fine, I don't like it. So I think I am still going to go into town, but I'm probably going to go tomorrow morning. I also have this hankering to explore this storage space that I have here because the owner has all this stuff and a lot of it's really old and vintage and he left it there. And he told me that I have free reign to everything. So. 
I guess it's not technically snooping, but I find that so interesting that I just have access to this person's like entire garage of belongings. When I say garage, I don't mean just like a little space. I mean like an expansive garage, a huge garage. Hi. Jude came to say hello. I did name this boy Jude and his sister Poppy. And I did upload a video explaining that I rescued kittens, but YouTube must have had a major glitch because the video got 900 views in five hours. And I have 235,000 subscribers, so that does not make sense. I ended up taking it down and deciding that I'm gonna use it as one of my launch videos for my Patreon. So that will be there, but I did rescue kittens and I named them Jude and Poppy and they will be making appearances, so get up to date. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Sometimes I'm describing something and I'm like, this is so funny and relatable in my head. And then I say it out loud and I'm like, that's not funny or relatable queen. Don't know when I'll be back again. All right, we are in the lair. And here's why it fascinates me so much. Because some of this stuff is mine. Piece of shit who has not unpacked everything I own despite it being three months later, but I kind of probably never will until my permanent house. At first it looks pretty normal, but then Cole started pointing out funny little details. I'm not really paranoid when it comes to paranormal things, so I don't get superstitious really at all, but Cole told me that he came in one day and this old radio was turned on. No one had been in here and he had not turned it on. Creepy. I'm also obsessed with this old TV. I think I put it at the beginning of the video, but it's just so cool. Like, is it working? Should we try to turn it on? Does this mean that I can use the bikes? He said I could use anything. I think I can use the bikes. Oh shit. Is it even plugged in? Yeah. I started getting stalked by a goddamn yellow jacket. What the fuck do they want from me? Because I'm pretty sure I'm of zero assistance to a yellow jacket. So get the fuck out of here. Moving along, moving along, we have this. What is it? Call me ignorant, I am, but. I don't know what this does, but I know it looks vintage as fuck. And then this is sick. We got so many CDs. just sitting here collecting dust. We got this, like what the fuck? Why is this here? Like, uh, hidden treasures, guys. Oh my gosh, we got star. Is that the flyer, the yellow jacket? The chronicles continue. Why are bugs at issue in every one of my new videos? Holy fuck, I cannot wait for summer to end because this is absurd. I can't even find a place to set you, but I feel like I'm thrift shopping in my own home. Star Trek anniversary collection. I'm a big old nerd. I know a lot of facts about Disney for some reason. This is cool. You guys, this is from 1991. Fine animation art and related items auction. We got the Walt Disney mini classics, Mickey and the Beanstalk, Spider-Man, Bugs Bunny. The art style is cohesive with all of them. Another Bugs Bunny. Okay, I'm gonna put everything back. There's a ton in boxes, but I'm not gonna go that far. If it is open, I might do a little, little peek in. Can't help where my eyes wander. I'm brimming with curiosity. I'm obsessed with this, this Tweety Bird. Cuckoo clock, and it's next to a little witch. Keeping it protected. I think we are dealing with a major music lover on our hands because so many of these things are just full of more CDs. These are CD cases. I guess when you really think about it, it's not that crazy because if you don't have the internet, you do have to buy every album you ever like. Yeah, maybe this was normal, I don't know. It's probably pretty common, that would make sense, but I did grow up on CDs, but I also grew up on like iPods and phones. So I was kind of like, because I was born in 1999, I saw it all. Look at that motherfucker. Dead and gone, baby. Okay, I just said I wouldn't open anything, but I just read these labels. 
pretty sure these are types of movies and TV shows. Yeah, classic horror, sci-fi TV, drama. And then there are those guys, which were never seen again. I have nothing more to say, but I will be back. I just fed the kitties and Miss Poppy is always on her little belly. That's why I almost named her Belly. We went with Poppy, but I call her Belly. Because of this. And she totally does it for attention because she loves the little belly rubs. She loves it. Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute, girl. Look at you. Can't believe you were on the street. Now we cozy as fuck. Many times I've played around, I tell you now, they don't mean a thing. Every place I go, song I sing, I'll sing for you. You were a phonograph, I was a kid, I sat with an ear close, just listening. Was there when the rain tapped away down your face, you were a miracle, I was just Time has Hello guys. <clears throat> Dear God. Mm. Mm -mm. I think I'm gonna pick up the camera and record whenever I feel like it. Until I have a video. Because it doesn't need to be cohesive. We are going down the mountain right now because we're going to pick up some stuff for the kitties and then we're going to go by the dispo, pick some stuff up there as well, probably some edibles. Because I did finish them all yesterday. Sorry. It's a damn shame. You're reloading me with 2,000 more milligrams, which I won't actually eat. I'll like have one gummy and then she'll finish the rest. So. No, you can you can keep them somewhere. You can hide them from me. Start scuttling away. How am I gonna get my hands on the edibles? I ask. Can we just go to Dave and Buster's for 10 minutes? I want to play a Minecraft game. I have a new obsession with arcades. I'm not sure what it is. Away, thrown it all in your face. The past she is haunted, the future is laced. That was so fast, what? Buy one, get one. <laughs> 4,000 milligrams. I am, in fact, in Goodwill. I always end up in a fucking Goodwill. It's kind of bad. You know, when something is almost there, it's almost perfect, but it's not, yeah. Sometimes that's a blessing because I will buy the whole store otherwise. I would give up my last dime for the right piece. <laughs> Heartbreak, you know, drives a big black car. I swear I was in the backseat. Minding my own. Mm. Wait, what's your reasoning for me coming in there? It's cool. Oh, you wanted me to go into Baskin Robbins because it's pretty cool in there. It's cool now. His his words, not mine. Who's gonna open my door? The wind. The wind. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. That better be a strong wind. It's been a little bit since I left off, but I've thrifted a bunch of stuff lately. This is gonna be like a mini thrift haul to close out this vlog, and then I'm thinking like I might do a lookbook. Would you guys like that? Me styling like five to 10 outfits. I have come up on quite a few things lately, which is nice because I got this at Zoomies. I think I'll get bikinis new and things like that, but um, most of the time, everything I buy is thrifted. To show a few things, I got these yoga pants, the little rhinestone booty, I thought that was really cute. I don't think I'm gonna try everything on, but I might try on these jeans for you guys really quick so you can see how cute they are. Because I feel like it just doesn't translate through the screen. I'm just like trying them on right here. These could really use ironing, but. 
right here, like I love this little button, the double button and the lines down. So cute. We got this jacket. On the sleeves is a little guitar. Can you see that? It's a little guitar right there. And then this side says peace in this kind of lettering. <laughs> the back says rock and roll. This gives me very much rock and roll camp for girls, which I did when I was like nine. Like it kind of looks like something you would wear in middle school. That just never deters me from things. Like I feel like why the fuck should there be such an age limit on clothing? This hoodie, it's like velvety and it's got the leopard. Same with the, the hood. And just this simple long sleeve. Honestly, this one's not the most interesting, but just paired with things. I like it. I like the pocket and the material is actually very like stretchy and thick. And then I got this ripped up sweater, which I like this. I'm gonna wear this as a sweater dress. Throw on some fishnets. It's gonna be a moment. This one feels 2000s in kind of a different way. Like it feels very boyish. It looks like what the kids in my elementary school class would wear, the boys. As a kid, I had no fucks about being feminine. I loved wearing baggy clothes. I would often buy clothes from the boys section if I wanted it. My mom did not give a fuck. All right, y'all, I hope you guys liked this little vlog. It was a lot of fun to make. I love you guys very much. I will be back soon for a sec. Bye. Stay, they won't stay